Think about all the things you've ever heard or seen or read or thought about God. Think about all the other people who've lived and died who had their own experiences and thoughts. All of the people with their own ideas of who God is. Think about everyone who's written about God, worshiped God, felt God in their lives. I mean, we've been thinking about who God is since day one. So how do we make sense of it all? How do we decide what we believe? How do we separate the true from the less than true from the not true at all? Well, in the United Methodist Church, we have a tool for this, and we call it the quadrilateral. At its most basic level, the quadrilateral is a method we can use to think about theology, to take in all the information we have, make sense of it, and decide what we believe about who God is. The quadrilateral is based on John Wesley's principles for making sense of our faith. But John Wesley never called it by this name. Instead, he just did it. The term Wesleyan quadrilateral didn't actually pop up until the 1960s when a Methodist theologian summarized Wesley's approach to theology. But what is it? The quadrilateral is comprised of the four sources through which we gain knowledge about God. Scripture, tradition, reason, and experience. Scripture is the most important part of the quadrilateral. It is the standard against which the other sources are judged. Tradition represents the collected wisdom of the church over the centuries. It keeps our theology connected to ideas that have deep roots. By reason, we can test the truth of our beliefs against the way we know the world to be. This allows us to make sure our faith is both practical and coherent. Finally, our experience of God breathes life into all our clever theories. It makes room for our personal stories and helps us to make our theology vibrant and alive. This can seem really complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. If you consider it, the quadrilateral is really similar to the way you already think about the world. For instance, all of you know not to touch a hot stove. How do you know that? Well, one, your parents taught you not to. That's kind of like scripture. Two, no one else goes around touching hot stoves. That's a pretty common tradition. Three, you know that a hot stove is hot and that hot things can burn you. That's reason. And four, maybe you touched a hot stove once or maybe you saw someone else do it and you saw that he or she got hurt. That's experience. Perhaps you'd only need one of those factors to know that touching a hot stove is not the best idea. But when you have all four, it's pretty easy to come to the right conclusion. Don't touch the stove. The quadrilateral takes this process and applies it to our quest to understand God, which is a lot harder than understanding a stove. Because God is really big and complicated and hard to understand sometimes. And even this process doesn't get us all the way there, but it helps. We can still come to different conclusions, but it gives us a way to discuss our differences as we constantly seek to embrace God. It's a long journey, one we've been on from the beginning, but when it comes to knowing God, we'll take all the help we can get.